Okay guys, today we're working on the 2008 to 2013 Toyota Highlander rear brake setup. First things first, take your 21mm socket to remove the wheel. If your wheel is stuck, put another lug nut on for safety. Use a pry bar against the rear suspension component to pry the rim away and break that rust ring off. Comes off pretty easy at that point. So we're going to go back. There's a little plug that hides the emergency brake adjuster. I'm going to remove that because you're going to have to put it into the new rotor when you're done. Should just come right out. Now the rotor is actually going to be stuck on when you go to do this, so to avoid adjusting the emergency brake in order to take off the rotor, we're just going to shock it with a hammer, and this should break free the rust ring that's actually holding the pads against the rotor hat. And all you just slide the rotor right off when you get to that point. Make sure you don't hit the studs. We're going to switch over to our air ratchet in a 14 millimeter socket remove the caliper mounting bolts. I had to use a swivel on this one to get to it. They come out pretty easy. Set those aside and then we're just going to remove the caliper and set it so it's not hanging by the brake hose. Then we're going to use a 17mm and a long ratchet to remove the bracket mounting bolts. These usually are on with quite a bit of force, so 17mm on a long breaker bar or ratchet will break them right free for you. And once you get to a certain point, you can just use a regular ratchet or ratcheting wrench as I am using and just get the bolts out the rest of the way and we're just gonna speed up this process a little bit takes a little bit of time but should come right out eventually and put the caliper bracket off to the side now if your rotor can't come off there's a rust ring that's still holding it on just shock the rotor and it should pop loose from that rust ring on the hub and slide the rotor right off Exposing your emergency brake pads and the hub surface. I usually spray it off with a little brake cleaner, and then we're going to go ahead and clean the hub surface ready for the new rotor. Using a right angle grinder and a sanding pad, just moving along, getting that all that rust and scale off the hub surface that will force the rotor away from being on there flat. Then I have my stud brush, goes over and cleans the stuff you can't get to with the uh, right angle grinder and then I just kind of try to go along and get that hub surface. Here's our new rotor. I'm going to clean off all that shipping oil off there that keeps it from rusting while it's on the shelf. Make sure you get it off the rotor otherwise you will ruin your new pads right away. And because there is emergency brakes on this one make sure you clean it inside the rotor head as well. We're going to slide our new rotor on. Make sure that's going on right. Put that little rubber plug in there. And I usually use just a lug nut to keep the rotor secured against the hub while you're working on the rest of the system. Now we're going to start working on the bracket. Make sure you remove your slides so that way they're not rusted in place. 
put some caliper grease on them make sure they slide nice and smooth if they're extremely rusted you'll have to replace them get this other one out do the same thing slide it back in remove your old pads now from the bracket you're going to be cleaning up the surface any rust or scale that's actually going to push against the brake pad alright and our rear brakes did come with hardware make sure your rear brake pads match up with the old ones and we're using a wire brush on my drill to clean up the spots where the slides go and put on our new clips after all that rust and scale is removed should clip in place just like the old ones and I put a little caliper grease just to slide just a little bit of amount you don't need to go overzealous at this point and just make sure you got some on there and then we're gonna slide the caliper bracket back over the rotor and put our bolts back in Okay, and this time I'm using my impact to cinch them down. 17 mil socket, if you didn't remember. And I cinch them down with my long ratchet just to make sure they're on there tight. You don't want these things coming loose. Now we're going to slide our new pads in to the bracket. They should go nice and freely. If they're not, you got a problem either with your pads or rust holding your clips out too far, squeezing them, putting too much pressure on the pads. All right, so now we're going to squeeze in the caliper. I have a special tool for this, but you can use a C-clamp or they make many other tools to do this, but pushes it right in. Slide the caliper right up over the pads. Get lined up with your slides and put your 14 millimeter bolts back in. We're just going to tighten those up, hand tight, and then use your socket and ratchet to tighten them back down. And once you're at this point, your brakes are complete. All you need to do is, when your brake system is completely assembled, press your brake pedal multiple times so that you get regain pressure to the brakes before you move the vehicle. Hey, I'm Joe the Other Guy. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you. Please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and my email's down below.